What's happening guys, it's Cooper Carter here for G66 and this week's Fractal Friday is a very quick, very straightforward tutorial on importing, exporting and resetting foot controller foot switch layouts on your Fractal Audio gear. Every once in a while, I like to do just a very quick, straightforward tutorial on something that people ask about a lot. And I get a lot of messages and questions about importing, exporting, and resetting layouts on Fractal Audio Systems controllers. So whether you're working on the AxeFX3, the FM3, or the FM9, whether you're using an FC6 or an FC12 connected to any of those controllers, it's important to keep in mind that any changes you make to foot switches and any changes that you make to layouts are stored in the main unit itself. So the AxeFX3, the FM9, the FM3. That's where all of these changes are actually being made. So when you plug in an FC6 or an FC12, it's going to read the information from the main unit. There's never anything stored in the FC12 or the FC6. In fact, once you set these layouts in your unit, you could plug any FC controller in the world into your unit and it will pull up the exact same layouts. And to that end, one of the first things you may want to do on your unit is to simply load the default layouts. Regardless of which unit you're on, you're simply going to hit the E knob to enter setup. You're going to hit enter on FC controllers. You're going to page all the way to the right to reset. And then on an AxeFX3, you're either going to load the default FC6 or FC12 layouts and settings. Or on an FM3 or FM9, you're either going to load the factory default layouts and settings or you're going to load one of the OMG layout and settings presets, depending on what you'd like to use. On the AxeFX3 here, I'm going to load the default FC12 settings. So I'm going to hit enter and confirm yes. And now you can see that my FC12 has defaulted to the factory preset layout number one. So changes that you make to foot switches and layouts are automatically saved and there's no undo. So sometimes it's useful to just be able to revert to the factory settings and you can use the reset screen for that. Now, since you do have to access the front panel to reset all of your layouts to default, one of the first things that I do with a new Fractal unit is simply go into FC Edit. Under this Layout tab is simply go to Edit. We can copy and paste layouts, clear one layout or clear all layouts, import and export a single layout, or import and export all layouts at the same time. So I'm simply going to export all layouts, which creates a backup copy of all of your layouts, which in this case are the defaults and puts them into one file. Now you'll notice that the editor automatically gives the file name a date and a time from when you saved it out, which makes it very easy to go back and remember when you saved your layouts. But what I'm gonna do is just call this default layouts, and I'll know that those are always the defaults. So I have those now easily accessible in the editor so I don't need to use the front panel. And I can revert back to them whenever I need by simply going to edit, import all layouts, Importing all layouts will completely overwrite all nine layouts. Continue and I say OK. Now, of course, we're simply going to overwrite these with the same default settings. So we're pasting all of these layouts on top of the existing ones. But resetting to default will obviously reset all of your layouts. So one of the things that I like to do is export the nine separate layouts to my desktop so that I have them there for recall so that if I make changes to any one of them and I want to go back, I can simply import just one layout and overwrite that one instead of resetting all of them at the same time. So I'm just going to export layout one here. So presets, FC layout, save, go to layout two, export layout two scenes, and so on and so forth. So let's take a look at this perform one layout number seven. Of course, you can customize any layout in the unit to your liking, but this one to me is the easiest to get into shape for live playing. So for example, I like having the tuner at the right side of the board, so I'm simply going to swap this one over to the far right side. And to keep the bank buttons consistent, I'm going to move this effects tab over there as well. I also like having instant access to my drive, so I'm going to change this button to be effect bypass drive one. And I also like having access to my delay. So I'm going to copy this button over here, paste it, and change this to delay one. And let's change the color of this delay to a dark blue and the color of this drive to an orange. So now I've customized this performance layout. And now I'm just going to save it to my desktop for safekeeping by exporting this layout. And I'm going to save it as perform one CC. 
So now if I made changes to this layout that I didn't like, for example, adding some random things here without any thought whatsoever, instead of having to undo all of these changes and remember what I had changed, I can simply go to import layout. The editor warns me that importing a layout will completely overwrite the current layout. I do want to continue. I can select perform one CC. And we are back to our exported layout just as I saved it out. With import and export capabilities, you can save countless layouts to your computer and have instant access to them at any time. And using the import and export all layouts feature, you can store and swap in and out in effect entirely separate foot controllers at the click of a button. This obviously is incredibly useful for players that have, for example, different gigs night to night or play in very different bands. And you can simply swap in an entirely separate collection of foot switches depending on what you need. So there you have it, very quick, very straightforward, and now this video lives here online, so hopefully if you had a question about this, you have now found it and your question has been answered. If you guys wanna dig even deeper into your Fractal Audio Systems unit, whether that's an Axe FX3, an FM9, or an FM3, make sure to visit classes.coopercarter.com for my complete Fractal Audio Masterclass series. And as always, for all things Fractal Audio Systems, keep it right here on G66. Make sure to subscribe, thumbs up this video, and leave me a comment below letting me know what you guys would like to see on a future Fractal Friday. I have some very special episodes coming up soon, but after that, we can get to some requests. As always, take care, and I will see you guys next week on Fractal Friday.